We got ourselves a big week in the world of sneakers, but then again, I feel like on every episode of Fresh Out Fridays, I always say that. There's a lot going on, though, truth be told. And so to help guide us through this wild terrain of sneakers, we've brought in a sneakerhead, a supreme collector extraordinaire, and my good friend, Saul Street, dude. What's going on? Hey, what up, brother? How are you, man? Thanks for taking the time, dude. This no, my is awesome. pleasure, man. My pleasure. I enjoy it. I love it. The expert of all experts. And uh, before we even, this man is true to this. Check out the shoes he's rocking Ooh. right now. If you watched last week's show, we talked about this. One of the hottest sneakers out. Tell us about the uh, Travis Jordans you're rocking. Yeah, these are the Travis Scott Jordan 6, probably the hottest sneaker that's come out in the past uh, recent history. Um, got the Nike Air on the back on one side. On the right side, they got the Cactus Jack cross. Each pair comes with a little pouch compartment here, like a little holster. You know what I mean? Keep your little goodies. Right. Put your um, SD cards in. Exactly, exactly. All, the, all that cool little stuff. <laughs> um, you know, the, the soles are glow in the dark, all that translucent. You oh, hit that dope. at night, it glows. Yeah, it's, it's the hottest thing on the street right now, by far. You know, it's funny, Travis just having a massive week in the world of music. Number one song in the country with highest in the room. Biggest yes. debut open streaming-wise of the year. A headline rolling loud over in Queens last week. Uh, well, there's so much going on on the table. Let's start with these loud guys right here. And this is actually kind of a, a cool backstory. What do you know about these? So these are the Nike Air Force One City of Athletes, AKA the What the New York. Um, what Nike has done here with these guys is they've put in colors of every different New York team. You got some Knicks aesthetics, you mm. got some Mets aesthetics, you got the Yankee pinstripe on that bad boy, you know, you got the orange from the Knicks again, you well, got the, the blue from the Jets, Mets, Jets, the Jets. Jets green across the front, the Jets green on the back tab, you got the basketball sort of tumbled leather back That's there cool. as well. Yeah, they're really cool. They mix it up, they put them all together. Put it into one silhouette. Now we're gonna do our first ever unboxing. Can we get a round of applause? This is a big, this is a big moment on Fresh right Out Fridays. Now this is just not any unboxing. This is actually out of this world, pun intended. <laughs> this comes courtesy of Area 51. Now I understand you went out there for the storming of Area 51. You grabbed I, these. I did. There weren't a lot of people there <laughs> with me though. It was, you know, it was sad. I got some coffee though. It worked out. <laughs> so this sneaker here, um, this is presented by Feature. It's a shop in Las Vegas. Um, this is more for the runner crowd. This is the Shadow 5000. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna pull that back. Yeah, look at that. Shadow 5000 Dreamland, and it's inspired by Area 51. You know, it's a, it's a nice shoe to do the unboxing with. I'll tell you that, just because there's so much going on between the packaging, the box, the uh, the, the translucent plastic totally. sleeve that they give you here that wow. you first gotta take off. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into this. And then bow. There you go. Oh wow. So That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, again, these are big on the runner crowd. You know what I mean? Um, this all glows in the dark here. You got like a splatter effect that glows in the dark. I'm pretty sure the translucent part of the sole glows in the dark. They got the Dreamland branding right there with uh, Future Las Ve Feature Las Vegas's emblem logo on the tongue. Damn. I mean, yeah, they're really cool. They got the little, uh, you know, caution tape on the back tab. This is it right here. I like those, man. Yeah, this yeah is really no, it's cool. a great collab, man. Great materials. The suede is nice and plush. You know, the leather, you could tell it's just like it's an upgrade from normal sneaker leather. This is something yeah. that you can almost find on like, you know, a jacket or a It's very strong. All right, so Soul Street, this is what's hot and what's out right now. What are you looking forward to, though, in the world of sneakers in terms of future drops we can anticipate? And if I'm if I'm just thinking, you know, in this next month, month and a half or so, there's the Jordan 1s are taking over for this next month. There's the Shattered Backboard 3.0, which is a new take on the original Shattered Backboard Jordan 1 that came out. It has a sort of a, a weathered-looking sole. It has, like, a bit of, like, vintage, like, color weighing on nice. the sole. The whole upper is, like, a tumbled patent leather, which is a material... We haven't really seen that often. Um, those are fire. Then after that, right after that, there's another pair of Jordan 1s called the Fearless Jordan 1. That's a pack with two different Jordan 1s. One of them's made out of like a sort of a 3ME Kevlar material, and that one's okay, but the one that everybody's really looking forward to is the full patent leather one okay. that is Chicago. It's like a sort of a blend between a Chicago and a UNC. So there's baby blue patent leather and red patent leather with oh, white breaking it up, and those are really hot. All right, we got the NBA season kicking off next week. Is there any players we should keep an eye out for that have hot sneakers right now? I mean, really, as far as the NBA player sneakers have gone lately, the person that's really coming consistently with heat, heat, heat is Kyrie, man. Totally, I saw you guys yeah. had the SpongeBob pack yeah. here last time. Um, there's another addition to that SpongeBob pack getting ready to release, the uh, SpongeBob house. It's the okay. pineapple house. And I mean, okay. everything they did with that sneaker from, you know, the, the, the colorways matching it to the way that the Nike font on the back of it looks like the SpongeBob font. 
is great. I mean, Kyrie keeps coming out with really sick collabs on his sneakers. I mean, you know, we got to keep an eye out for what Jordan Brand's going to do with Zion Williamson. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, what hot sneaker are they going to release for him? You know what I mean? Is they going to take any of the previous retros and give him his own colorway, like what they did with, like, the Mellows. Mellow had twos and thirteens and Jordan ones, you know, all these different models that they you sort of retrofitted to him. You know, I'm hoping they do all that kind of stuff with Zion. But um, those are the two that I'm watching right now. All right, this was a total pleasure. Soul Street, thank you so much for taking my the time, pleasure, dude. My pleasure, my pleasure. We hope to see you back real soon on Fresh yes, Off Friday. Yes.